Thank you for joining me for my podcast today. The title of our podcast is Click Boom. Lin-Manuel Miranda's portrayal of immigrants in Hamilton, an American musical, takes aim to fan political sparks into flames. We are going to be listening to some clips of songs from the musical, in addition, in addition to discussing some of the ways in which Miranda tackles the political if- issue of immigration in Hamilton. We will be exploring the ways in which he portrays Hamilton as an immigrant, and also looking at the ways in which the work has inspired political action and support in the presidencies of both Barack Obama and Donald Trump. Hamilton the Musical is based upon historian Ron Chernow's biography entitled Alexander Hamilton. This work was based upon Alexander Hamilton, the life of the very well-known American political figure. Upon reading this volume while on vacation, Lin-Manuel Miranda was inspired to tell Hamilton's story through the medium he loved most, the Broadway musical. So in Hamilton, Miranda infused this traditional genre with his masterful command of more popular music idioms such as rap, hip-hop, R&B, soul, pop, and even hints of Brit-pop a la Beatles. One of the main themes that we see in Hamilton is ambition. Initially, we see Hamilton as an ambitious young man who wrote his way out of poverty and adversity before immigrating to New York City. We also see his and Burr's political ambitions to achieve political power and recognition. On May 12, 2009, Miranda was invited to perform at a poetry night sponsored by the White House. He performed an early version of the song Alexander Hamilton, which would later morph into the larger musical. In 2013, there was a workshop production of the musical in New York City. Um, It opened off-Broadway in February 2015 before transferring to Broadway in August of that year. It was an immediate smash hit. So I have a quote from Edward Delman to keep in mind as we are talking and discussing Hamilton that Miranda purposely has a very diverse cast of actors in the musical. Um, Notably, um, the lead performers are of black and Hispanic descent. So according to Delman, the primary black and Hispanic cast reminds audiences that American history is not just the history of white people. So diving in, we're going to be listening to a couple clips from the first song in the musical, Alexander Hamilton, to explore the ways in which which Miranda portrays Hamilton as an immigrant. In this clip, you will also be hearing Miranda singing. For over a year, he played the title role in the Broadway musical. He was Hamilton. So it's interesting to note, as as a very proud son of Puerto Rican immigrants, that he is an immigrant portraying the immigrant Hamilton. So... Hamilton begins, there's no instrumental overture, which is traditional to the Broadway musical, in Hamilton. We are launched directly into the musical through the song Alexander Hamilton. So here's our first clip. Okay, so right there at the beginning, the powerful instrumental intro launches us into Hamilton's world, and the instrumental is almost as deter- sounds almost as determined and strong as Hamilton is. As we heard, Hamilton is being described by various people in his life, and we find out that he's an immigrant from very humble beginnings, hailing from the Caribbean. Miranda, in his lyrics, describes Hamilton as the work is through working a lot harder by working a lot smarter by being a self-starter. Hamilton was able to rise above his situation. So we're going to take a look at our next clip. It's a little bit farther into the song. So here's our next clip. Okay, so right there we heard um, the narrator, we heard a crescendo as he's asking this person, what's his name, what's what's your name, man? Um, Miranda purposely employed the use of crescendos and thicker instrumental textures to build anticipation. Who is this person who overcame so much adversity and who the world is going to know? So as Hamilton comes in and delivers his line, we hear the texture shift and the volume immediately goes down to make way for this important person. So in introducing himself to the audience, Hamilton says, My name is Alexander Hamilton. My name is Alexander Hamilton, and there's a million things I haven't done, but just you wait. 
Just you wait. So we hear him state his name twice so that the audience is sure to hear it. He finishes introduction by saying there's a million things he haven't hasn't done and warns the audience to wait. This is evocative of his desire and his drive, that there are a million things he wants to tackle and that he's setting out to prove himself to his audience. So our next clip is going to fast forward a little bit where we also hear about some of the different things Hamilton did in order to achieve his passage, his passage to New York City, which he viewed as a place of opportunity to restart his life. So here's our next clip. Okay, so right there, we hear that Hamilton, he had to take on all these different jobs in order to start raising money to be able to gain his passage to New York City. And so next, we're going to kind of pick up off of that and be listening to, as Hamilton's getting his passage, kind of what's it mean? We heard how hard Hamilton had to work, and we also heard that um, as Hamilton's disembarking to go to the colonies, he um, is believing that in New York you can be a new man. So he's setting out for somewhere where he can put his past behind him and rise up and rise above that adversity to achieve his dreams and his ambitions. So Hamilton is seeing America as a place that, of opportunity for him. So I have another clip that we're going to listen to where Hamilton has a little bit of a back and forth between the chorus and the musical and between himself. Okay, so there we go. So in that clip, we heard his back and forth between the chorus. As the chorus sings, in New York, you can be a new man, Hamilton counters him by saying, just you wait. So again, we're kind of seeing that idea that um, he's seeing New York as a place where he could be a new man. But again, he's just so driven that just you wait, just you wait. I'll prove to you all the great things that I'm capable of. So at the end of the clip, we also heard the chorus poses the question to Hamilton, when America sings for you, will they know what you overcame? Will they know you wrote the game? So when America and others begin to speak highly of him, will they fully realize and appreciate all that he went through to get to where he is today as they know him? Will they be able to appreciate that all the adversities that he overcame in order to be the person that he is standing in front of them? And towards the end of that clip, we heard, the world will never be the same. Oh, the ship is in the harbor now. See if you can spot him. Another immigrant coming up from the bottom. So, again, we're hearing that the world will never be the same because of him and his contributions. In saying um, another immigrant coming up from the bottom, we are again seeing this image of the heroic immigrant bravely rising from adversity. So we're going to switch gears and we're going to go to a new song. This is the third song in the musical called My Shot. And this is a testament to Hamilton's aspirations. This is his I Want song. It's also a bit of a call to revolution, as you will hear. So here is a short clip from My Shot. I am not thrown away my shot. I am not thrown away my shot. And I won't just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry. And I'm not thrown away my shot. I'm going to get a scholarship to King's College. I probably should have bragged. that clip we hear Hamilton saying that I'm a diamond in the rough a shiny piece of coal trying to reach my goal so 
again, it's kind of this idea that as people might perceive him as kind of being more like a piece of coal, he's trying to prove that he's a diamond in the rough, that if they just give him the chance that he'll really be able to prove himself and accomplish some really great things. And again, we are seeing um, Miranda's use of repetition. I am not throwing away my shot. I'm not throwing away my shot. This reiteration of just trying as hard as he absolutely can to achieve his aspirations and goals. We're going to switch over to a new, a new song. We're going to kind of fast forward in time a little bit. So as we've heard Miranda emphasizing the importance of Alexander Hamilton as an immigrant, um, the musical also features another um, immigrant, the Marquis de Lafayette, who was a French nobleman who played a crucial role in aiding the colonies during the Revolutionary War. So we're going to listen really quick to a clip from the song Yorktown, also called The World Turned Upside Down. So we're going to start right off at the beginning of Yorktown. Okay, so right there. So in that clip, Hamilton and Lafayette are discussing what are going to be their next steps after the victory at Yorktown for them. At the end of the clip, they both exclaimed, immigrants, we get the job done. So again, this is reinforcing the idea of the immigrant as being someone who has worked very hard to attain their achievements and is somebody who gets the job done, that they are somebody that you can count on. We are going to listen to another clip. This is going to be from the song um, Nonstop. It comes later in the musical right before Act 2. And in it we're hearing Aaron Burr. And he's describing, um, this is after the war when he and um, Hamilton are returned to New York City. So this is kind of their return to New York after the war. What's going on in their lives? Okay, so again, Miranda is presenting this idea of Hamilton as being the immigrant, as being the person who rises through the top through hard work and dedication. Um, the lyric, man, the man is nonstop. He is just always working as hard as he can to prove himself. So in our last clip, we're going to be listening to a clip from the song Hurricane. So this comes towards the end of the musical, this is Hamilton singing, just he's kind of reflecting on some of his experiences and some of the things that he's been has done and has been doing. Okay, let's see where it is. There we go. Find it. Okay, here we go. So here's Hurricane. And we are going to fast forward a little bit to kind of just really capture the essence of what Miranda is trying to capture here. So here we go. St. Hamilton is through somebody who's persistent and hard work, he creates and forges his own path through success. So even though life um, was throwing him different adversities and challenges still, um, he just picked up his pen and he was his own path and his own route to success. So as illustrating these songs, Miranda depicts Hamilton as, a, as the hero, as the heroic immigrant who has a clear vision and through tireless hard work and dedication is able to lift himself above his adversity. So as we saw in our last clip, Hamilton rose from very humble beginnings in the Caribbean to a well-known American politician who made lasting contributions to his nation. So we're going to switch gears and we're going to talk about the ways in which the musical was received differing from the Obama administration to the Trump administration. So we're going to first contextualize the musical um, as the musical was written and premiered during the Obama administration. We're going to focus on that first. 
So in 2016, at the White House performance of the excerpts from Hamilton, President Obama remarked that, in the character of Hamilton, a striving immigrant who escaped poverty, made his way to the New World, climbed to the top by sheer force of will and pluck and determination. Lin-Manuel saw something in his own family and every immigrant family. So again, one of the central political themes of Hamilton, as characterized by Obama, is the outsizing and the historically neglected role that immigrants have played in our nation's history, and just how this is also a story that speaks to all immigrant families. It spoke to Miranda, and it spoke to everybody, and it speaks to everybody. So in a 2015 interview, um, as the musical was gaining hype before its Broadway premiere, um, in an interview for The Atlantic with um, Edward Delman, Miranda stated, that, well, I think it's a particularly nice reminder at this point in our politics, which comes around every 20 years or so, when the word immigrant is used as a dirty word by politicians to get cheap political points, that three of the biggest heroes of our Revolutionary War for Independence were a Scotsman from the West Indies named Alexander Hamilton, a Frenchman named Lafayette, and a gay German man named Frederick von Steuben, who organized our army and taught us how to do drills. Immigrants have been present and necessary since the founding of our country. I think it's also a nice reminder that any fight we're having right now, politically, we already had it 200 some odd years ago. The fights that I wrote between me and Jefferson, you could put them in the mouths of candidates on NBC. They're about foreign relations, they're about states' rights versus national rights, they're about debt. These are all conversations we're still having, and I think it's a comfort to know that they're just a part of the more perfect union we're always working towards, or try to work towards, and that we're always working on them. You know, we didn't break the country. The country came with a limited warranty. Like, it was never perfect. It was never perfect, and there's been no fall from grace. I find that heartening, honestly, that we're still working on it. So it's really interesting to note that this is a very political stance and a very definite stance that Miranda is taking publicly. And so then, as a composer, it makes him difficult to have den deniability in his works. So with his very... um public outspoken political beliefs coupled with the power of his lyrics it makes him it makes it difficult for him to be able to deny interpretations of his work as being kind of more hidden so this means that um it'd be difficult for him to say like um this work is not political because as we see it's a it's a life of a politician it's embedded with politics um both of Miranda's own politics outside of Hamilton and just of the politics of Hamilton's life himself so as Hamilton was creating premier during the um, Obama presidency, um, one of our scholars, Donatella Gaia, she um, is quoted as saying, President Obama became a spokesman of sorts for Hamilton the Musical because the musical seemed to perform representational and political work very similar to his own. And um, she goes on to talk about how... Um, Initially, when um, it was premiered in 2009 at the White House at the poetry meeting, that the audience laughed because of the unexpected juxtaposition of this revered white historical figure with historically devalued black and brown individuals portraying the characters. So the racial diversity of the original cast resonated with Obama as the first U.S. president of color to the point that Ron Chernow and others have said that the cast reflects Obama's America. Since the musical premiered, Obama has been to multiple productions of the show and even hosted Rand in the cast at the White House to perform selections, um, the selections of Alexander Hamilton and My Shot. Um, both notably, as we discussed, that these kind of embody the bootstrap ethos and the rise above kind of the rise above ideal of the immigrant. So, and even, even more so, at the 2016 Tony Awards, Barack and Michelle Obama introduced the company of Hamilton for their performance. Um, Michelle, the first lady, um, spoke of the work that um, our nation is a place of opportunity where no matter how humble our origins, we can make it if we try. So we're going to switch gears, and now we're going to focus and situate it, also contextualizing as being premiered and performed during the Obama administration. However, um, when it premiered on Broadway in August of 2016, the United States was in the midst of a presidential race. So as Barack Obama was preparing to leave the White House and leave office, tensions were rising on the campaign trail. And to the point that even in this race, the, the links between Hamilton and Obama immigrants were even so more intensified by the political climate. So as the political climate began to move more towards the right, the personality of the musical was seen as even more being more on the left. So Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump made immigration the building block of his campaign. He promised his audience that should he become president, he would build a wall along the Mexican border and make Mexico pay for it. 
So very decisive stance on immigration's immigrants from Trump. On November 19, 2016, Trump's um, running mate, um, Mike Pence, attended the evening performance of Hamilton. Breaking with tradition, actor Brandon Victor Dixon, who was portraying Burr in the production, directly addressed the audience at the end of the curtain call. This, was, this address was targeted directly at Mike Pence. He said, quote, We, sir, we are the diverse America who are alarmed and anxious that your new administration will not protect us, our planet, our children, our parents, or defend us and uphold our inalienable rights, he said. We truly hope that this show has inspired you to uphold your American values and to work on behalf of all of us. So this was a very bold political statement. And the statement's interesting note was composed by Miranda, the producers, and the cast, and their goal was to just express their sincere concern for future attacks upon minoritized people, and especially upon immigrants. So in it, it did not directly name the Trump administration's direct threats to deport all undocumented people, to build the border wall, to ban Muslims, but it did serve as a call of unity. So in repeating all of us, Dixon suggested that such togetherness is possible and desirable, and that it's something that we should all do if we want to work towards the better good. In response, Donald Trump took to Twitter to address this occurrence, demanding that the cast apologize to Pence, claiming that they had harassed him. So, again, very, very di different um, response, reaction, reception from the Obamas to Donald Trump. So kind of in concluding, kind of going back to this idea of um, just Obama's personal connections to the musical Hamilton, in 2018, Miranda released a project entitled The Hamilton Mixtape, which featured celebrities and artists remixing and performing um, selected songs from Hamilton. Featured on the recording was President Obama reciting lines from George Washington's farewell speech in the song One Last Time. So just kind of adding another layer of President Obama's involvement with the musical. So, although telling the story of American politics of the past, Hamilton continues to speak to the current political climate of America. This was seen in the very different political presidential reactions to Hamilton. So, Miranda is the son of a proud of proud Puerto Rican immigrants. He weaves and creates this historic, heroic Im image of the immigrant in the character in his characterization of Alexander Hamilton. So, described as being gun scrappy and hungry, Hamilton is proof that with hard work. Anybody can rise above adversity and can also have the power to make lasting impacts and changes if given the chance.